All right, for the inside of my egg, where my little bunny will rest, I know I'm going to need some green. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up a little bit of green. Now this is the back of the egg. This is the front. But when I put my front on, I like to decorate right down in here too. So while it's open, I'm going to go ahead and decorate that part too. So let me get some green together and in my piping bag. And I'll be back. And I wanted to add, now would be a good time to get your little figurines and stuff that you wanted on the inside. I found these at the dollar store. It was a set of jacks, but it had the little bunnies in there. And also, uh, I noticed in the craft sections of Walmart or in with their Easter stuff, they already have what you set on top of cakes or whatever. The little uh, sugar rabbits holding a little jelly bean. Those would be real cute. And then I have some little jelly beans to go inside. This is not a big egg. But um, if you wanted to make a real big egg, you could just really do a lot with it. And for my piping bags, I'm just going to use little zip top bags. I'm going to cut a small corner out of it. Now, I used to have a grass tip, and I cannot find it nowhere. So, I'm just going to use a little star tip or something, because I pipe me up some little blades of grass. So, I'm just going to use a little star tip. This is Wilton number 22, but you can use whatever. And I like to put a piece of tape around here to hold it on there real good. So, I'll be back. Alright, I'm going to try to do it this way where you can see what I'm doing. It's probably going to be hard to do left-handed. Right now, we just kind of want to put some blobs of frosting in there because this is just holding up our stuff. And now we're going to figure out our placement. I'm going to set my little bunny right here to the side. Then... I took some pretzel rods and just popped some little stars on it, look like little flowers. I'm going to set this over there. And then I just popped some long lines to make, oops, to make like little long uh, blades of grass that he's kind of hiding in. And you can decorate uh, yours up however you like. Uh, let me go get my sprinkles. I'll be right back. Just got some regular little sprinkles. Sometimes those look like little flowers. Just put some of that in there. Make it pretty. So, I'll be back when I get this together. And just decorate it. The sky's the limit. All right, here's the uh, one part of my egg. This will be what you'll be looking through. Added another little flower and some little blades of grass. I put some jelly beans down in there. And right there I put just a little pink flower and a little green leaf. And I'm setting it up in a little bowl like this to dry. And then here's the bottom half. Got my little bunny and the little flower, little blades of grass, some glitter. And then I wanted to do kind of like a blue cloud to kind of break up all that color. I don't know if it looks all that great, but I did sprinkle some um, white clear uh, glitter on it. And I have it setting in a little bowl to dry. But... Decorate it ever how you want. We're going to let it set and dry a little bit. Let it set up. And then we will be back to uh, close the egg up, glue it up, decorate the outside. Alrighty. Uh, that's pretty good and dried. So try to use the same color to seal your eggs up with as the color of your eggs. Mine's white, so I'm gonna put a thin bead of white 
around the outside and that way if some oozes off on the inside it won't show as bad. So if you're making a green egg try to use the green frosting. And where this kind of oozed out just a little bit I'm going to take a knife and very carefully just try to scrape that little bit off so it'll seal up good and it won't kind of mush it. Now I'm just going to take a thin bead of white and go around the uh, egg and this will seal it together. You don't want much because you don't want it oozing on the inside a lot. Alright, so now to go ahead and close it up and then set your egg down where it's standing up straight so you know it's going to stand up right there and then just kind of hold it together just for a minute or two it's standing up straight and see we have a gap right there but we're about to cover that up so now choose whatever color you want to go around the seam of your egg and around the window so, my daughter, I asked her what would be a good color, and she said pink. And just decide how you want to do it. Um, you could do little stars or a straight line. But I kind of like it when I do. Just kind of build and release. Build and release. And I hope you can see that. Be very careful. Just build and then release it. So now we're going to do the window real quick. And I think that, hmm, I can't decide if I want to do stars or a or to match it. Yep, I'm just going to match it because that's coming off. Well, if you make a mistake, the frosting is so thick, you should just be able to wipe it off. Now, it can be finished this way. Or if you want to decorate up the outside of it, put some little flowers or a name or whatever. Now it's you can do that. So I'll we'll set our little guy up right here. And I think I'm gonna do a few leaves and do a few little rosebuds that I popped out yesterday. This was a whole lot easier to go ahead and pre-pipe out like the little flowers and stuff. And this was just on a pretzel rod that I just put, used a star tip. And I did some leaves. And this saved a lot of time. So I think I'm going to do some yellow rosebuds. So with my white frosting, pick got some leaves. Now let this sit undisturbed till it is completely dry and according to the humidity and everything it might take a little longer 
Try not to do it when it's the humidity's real high outside. I hope I didn't confuse you too much. I confused myself sometimes <laughs> on everything, but these are real fun to make. The year that I made a bunch and sold them, I just had an assembly line. One day I made all of my eggs, the shells of them, and the next day did the decorations, and then the next day just put them all together. These are real fun to make. Keep them out of direct sunlight and away from any moisture. If water gets on this, it will start to melt them. And because I showed you the one earlier that I've made like seven or eight years ago. These make wonderful gifts. See, it kind of has that 3D look. So I put something up in the front part too. Got the little Easter bunny. He's hiding back there. He's done hit some eggs. But have fun with it. And if you make one, let me know. I would love to see them. And I'm sure you'll do a better job than I did. But I hope that you do. And just remember, they're a lot of fun. They're not all that fragile once they dry. If you want to make sure that your icing isn't too runny, when you uh, take some out, put it in a, a piping bag, and pop some little flowers out and see if they hold together. And then you should be able to know, but you can go to craft stores, dollar stores, and find some pretty things to go on the inside. These make awesome gifts, and this one right here is going to go to a very special someone. So I hope you enjoy, and let me know if you make them. Bye, y'all. I forgot to add the little uh, sugar bases that you make. If you want to set your egg on top of your sugar base... Then you can, and then you can decorate up your little base, too. You can use either side. Use that side. You can put some flowers in all around it. So, I hope you enjoy.